So, um, first things first, I'm not going to show you the bag in a minute because I am struggling to fit everything in to the bag type of thing. Finding the weight, finding out what I need, what I don't need type of thing. So, I'm just going to unload all my gear, what I've got, what I've collected, and uh, you know, a few essential items. Because uh, it's going to be a bit of a mix between bushcraft and survival and bugging out at the same time, and I'm quite uh, frustrated with my bag because I want I want to pack all these things in because you never know, you never know. <laughs> so um, I'm just going to go for it. Uh, right. So first off, I'm going to go with fire. So I've got my ferrocerium rod on a on a chain here. I keep that with me all the time anyway. And um, so I need a striker. So this is my knife. That I've got it's got a nice little sheath with it. A Jack Pike hunting knife. So it's a uh, pretty good, nice little knife. My first knife. Lock blade. Really sharp. So uh, that's my uh, striker. So it's that. There's a little sheath there. And we got a, another striker. But this is more like a band. It's got a bit of paracord on it. Compass, whistle. Yeah, you've all seen these before. I keep that with me. Um, got some tinders in here. This is going to be my char cloth box or tin. Uh, I've got some char cloth in there. I've got some pine resin sticks like fat wood, some cotton buds, uh, matches, windproof matches and a bit of cloth that I haven't charged yet but I will charge it. Just use that. And this is my little bag full of uh, birch bark and uh, you know just fire materials, fire lighting, fire reed, cotton, cotton wool, wool strands, anything like that so I'm going to collect my stuff in that. Now I'll go into that. So there's that. And I always carry a lighter with me. So that's like my secondary. And a little box of matches, cheapy little matches. So they'll be going onto the fire, so that's, that's fire done. I've also got a sharpening stone. Well, sharpening thingy. It's not really a stone. But that's for my knife. My knives. It's quite nice. Second knife should be more like for woodwork or just like you know food prep. Say uh, Promethe, yeah, Promethe 2012, a UK legal knife. It hasn't got a lock on it, but it's quite sturdy, under three inches or three inches, and uh, kind of folds. But um, I don't like really like these because you know they might fold on you. You say you're cutting something, off goes your fingers. So uh, that's why. I, I like this knife better because it's got a lock on it. So there is that. There is my knives. Uh, I've got a little torch, solar power thing. Uh, USB chargers. Uh, solar panel, obviously. It's got a nice bright little torch on it. Click it twice. Click it once. It'll go right there. Click it again. It'll flash. And I think you click it twice and go off. Start so beat for charging my my phone, which is a cheapy little Nokia, there you go, does a job, charging phone for communication on there, or my iPad, or my uh, music, or whatever, uh, for communication also, I've got these, say in a grid down situation, you're going to need uh, radios, this is just a cheapy little Motorola thing, uh, I've got two of these, £30 online, Amazon, can't go wrong, they run on batteries, so um, I might have to carry a few spare, but I have seen these batteries where you can put the USB inside the battery type of thing, literally, like to recharge a battery, so if I got super some of them I could recharge the batteries with this, and then out from there into the Bob's teapot, so I got that. Um, yeah, so I think we're going to move on to the bar now. Got in the bag. So bear with me. 
get another radio, secondary radio. First aid kit. Everything easy access, I'm not going to go through it. Just a little wash kit, toothbrush, toothpaste, a uh, comb, I'll get some soap in there too. That's about it for there. Into another pocket. Got my hunting gear, this is like a BCB type of uh, sort of kit, but then I put like a few extras in it, took a few things out. Got some snare wire, magnet for compass reading, and a couple of bolts in there if I need to make a, a, a weight for fishing. Uh, just little bits and bobs in there, really. Not essential, but it's what I like. A bushcraft book, diary type thing. I'm just going to start writing my recipes and stuff in there. Nice little book. Keep your notes and stuff, whatever you learn, jot it in. A little bit of reading material. Again, not essential, these bits aren't. Food for free. You know, got uh, plants, edible plants, wildflowers, berries. You know the drill. Dates, calendars, the SAS survival guide. Again, this is not all going in the bag, guys. This is just like showing you all what I got and what I'm uh, learning and practicing on. So that's a little SAS guide. Uh, tick spray, bug spray. Again, you don't need that in the summertime. Hand sanitizer, because I'm going to bring my dog with me and I'm going to eat food, so I'm going to wash up. Not essential, but a bit of fun when you're hunting. Some pretty sweet binoculars from the hunting shop. There's the meat, really, really good. I'll put that on the side. Comes in a little bag with a little uh, strap so you can put it on your belt. Not too shabby. So I've got more purifying tablets. Little torch that goes on a on a on a beanie hat, and uh, that's chargeable with USB as well. So I could plug that into this. This goes in there. That's sort of about it. Probably tell them all over the place with my bag. I don't know what's what and what's going where. I've got uh, dog food for two days. Don't know if I need it. Uh, dog bowl. And probably moving into the cooking gear. Got this sweet little pot. Probably seen them before. Nice little pot. Comes with my food inside. Basically, all ready to go. I just need a bit of structure in the bag. Probably take the books out, keep my journal in there, so I can write recipes, all that jazz. Um, a little uh, strainer for my tea, herbal tea, because I'm learning about medicines as well, so I just put my tea there on my dandelion coffee, put it there, get some hot water, boom, done. Got a string for uh, shelter building. Sponge to wash up my dishes. A little grill inside there. I just got that off a barbecue, like one of those disposable barbecue things. So I thought if you can cook a barbecue on there, you know, you can take it with you. There's that. Got a little uh, knife, fork, spoon type thing, but I, uh, I used the spoon earlier. So there's that. Got a smog or whatever it is, smog, smog. Like a bandana type thing. So that's sorted. This is the beanie where the, the light goes on to. Where that light is gone, there it is. It just fits inside there. So when you're chopping logs at night, you can see what you're doing. It's got three seconds on there, so. It's alright. This is the heaviest motherfucker in the bag. This is like a cast iron uh, hatchet type thing. This is really, really cheap on Amazon. Got the axe bit there, you've got your hammer bit on that side, you've got your uh, prior there, 
nail puller. So that's like the heaviest thing I've got in the bag. And then probably these books, but these aren't essential to go in your survival bag or whatever. They're just like reading material for when I get bored or something. Probably won't be bored. Probably have a lot to do. This is another heavy thing I've got in the bag. Big like heavy duty tarp. But that's gonna be for like shelter building and all that shit. And then I've got my little uh, search and rescue type thing. You never know what will happen. So I've got a bright yellow, uh, neon yellow beanie. The same for like, I'm wearing all camo and stuff, so if there's hunting and shooting about, you're gonna wanna wear, wear something that you, you know, you don't look like an animal. Because I got like loads of fur coats and camo, so I don't wanna get shot. Shit. So inside I got a little uh, reflector. A couple of um, glow sticks. Uh, tin foil emergency blankets. Also use them as a reflector if you wanted to. And a little whistle. So people can hear where to see uh, where to find you. So that's basically it. I mean I'm gonna bring my dog with me as well. The dog will sleep with me, so she doesn't need like a big blanket or anything. Like, I've got the dog food for a bit. You know, I, I usually give her my half my meals as well, so you know, doesn't really uh, need needs needs be. Also got some gloves, fingerless gloves, but I like fingerless gloves. And a bag. I mean, I'll also strap that to my waist when I get out there, type of thing. And the bag itself is probably seen one of these before. It's like a, it's a small, I think it's like a 25 litre, it's not the biggest bag going, but it just about holds everything I need. It kind of comes like halfway up to my back, so it, it, I don't know if I need a bigger one, because it's quite a small bag, so it's like, yeah, that's my, it's like my arm's length, from my elbow to my hand, so it's not a big, big bag. So that's the one bag I got. And uh, I've got like a little side bag as well. So when I get up, up to the woods, this will be my like fire starting kit, my tinder, uh, anything we need to go on there. And then I can also put my little uh, knife on the side of it as well, because it's got like a little belt loop. So this is like a waist bag, and then I've got the belt loop. And then I'll probably stick a radio on the side there as well. You know. Probably get my axe on there as well, because I want most things on my belt or in my trousers, because it's lightweight on the bag. Because I want the bag for cooking stuff and stuff for the dog, so it makes it easier if you've got everything on your belt. If you know what I mean? Especially if it's like working material, uh, working tools and stuff. Easy access. You can just grab it and get to work straight away. So that's what I got. So yeah, just. Uh, if you know anything that's missing from the bag, or I don't think there's anything missing, if you think I need to take anything away, this camera's falling. There you go. If you think I need anything taken away, weight-wise, uh, any tips maybe on the bag, or anything really. If you think I've got any unnecessary items, just let me know. Because I do want to make this a lightweight bag, simple bag, easy bushcraft. Don't want all this complicated uh, what ifs. And, uh, yeah, but I think I'm doing right. It's not heavy, heavy, but I want to make it lighter. I'm always changing it to make it lighter. So there's that. Um, don't think I've got anything else. Oh yeah. So with this bushcraft stuff and going out into the woods, I'm going to be doing like mostly shelter building different shelters and stuff, uh, cooking, different recipes, um, hunting with the dog maybe, that's the main one, uh, she's only a little staffy, five years old, you knew, she's lush, but, um, yeah, and I'm going to be doing cigar reviews as well, just like a little thing while I'm up there sitting, waiting for my uh, food to cook, so, uh, those are the first ones I'm going to be reviewing. Uh, Hamlet cigars. Just a little uh, treat.
treat for when I'm up there type of thing. I want to do some uh, sort of uh, military training or drills or something, but I don't know if that's legal or not to do. Yeah, I'll have to look into that. So, uh, yeah, this is Angel Rising, 13. Peace, guys, and I'll see you on the other side.